Anyway, <laughs> look, Southgate won't change anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do the analysis based on the players we all know he will will start. Those who finished the, those who started the semis, ta, ba, ba, tough, ta, tough. Then now they start. <laughs> the same back line, the same midfield, the same front line, but he's got an option of changing something with his bench, which is used well in the tournament, yeah. right? Ivan Tony was instrumental the yeah. last time he called upon him. Cole Palmer and Oli Watkins were, were massive yeah. or immense the last time he called upon them. So it's a good thing to have as a manager. When you look behind you and you've got something to throw on, when you need to refresh something in the game, it's a good thing to have. So I'm going to look at how the team that we all know he will start can work out against Spain. And you see, we are all analyzing England because as for Spain, he sets. He sets. He sets. <laughs> you see, as for the Spain, you see, there's no thing, Crino. It's not about should should Ferran Torres start. No, should no, no. And, and for he instance, said, he says he's not going to change anything. No, he this sets. is he sets. He sets. So no, that is why the way the boys are do, they are talking about they are thinking about England because it's pretty, they are big. <laughs> you know. So yeah, we all know how Spain will play, and we all know how dangerous. And I should mention that the late runs into the box. Spain have got eight different goal scorers in this competition. You know, Danny Cavill has shipped in some uh, Nico Williams. All from Central areas. Uh, Boga, everybody they enjoy some. Olmo. Danny Olmo, you know, now... Better than Rashford. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is what I think England should do with the players that will start. That Medford box that he has created in Maine when Declan Rice, Bellingham and Foden, using the back three, have an essential job to do, right? Mm. But they've got, he's got the personnel in that team to do that job and crack it. Now, Fabian Ruiz has is, is been massive in this competition for Spain. Rodri, as always, he's, he's so good with almost... You're finding normal, you're yeah, yeah, finding normal, because yeah, yeah, yeah. the guy do him every day, consistent. But Foden and Bellingham are the two players who, if England can defend well, need to start well, or they def start defending well. Because they would be the people who would need to stop Fabian Ruiz and Rodri, and Rodri from dictating the Spanish game. It starts there. Everything else is extra. Mm. Cause and effect. If Foden, we know Foden is a disciplined player when it comes to instruction because he's playing under that system. He knows Rodri well. Bellingham, we know in Real Madrid, he started to go into big games where they've agreed that they won't see a lot of the ball, so they would have to do jobs on certain players. Mm -hmm. So he can take on that instruction. So Foden and Bellingham, the two number tens for England must play as two number six for England higher up the pitch. Very important. They must be closing in on Rodri and then Fabian Ruiz. This is the danger. Rodri is not aesthetically a, a dribbler you'd always see. But he can dribble. He has the yes. drop of the shoulder that can skip past whoever is doing a man marking on him. As for Fabian Ruiz, only me train. Yeah, he, yeah. he will train for you to see. <laughs> say he has trained you. It's not Rodri's own song. So that would be the danger. So apart from stopping the ball from getting to them, when they have the ball, how close are you? How tight are you? So they don't have the space to dribble or maneuver. Mm. Bellingham and Foden will be crucial. And I trust those two boys have got a discipline and the work rates to be able to do it for Southgate. Then behind them, they would have Rice, rice and then Menu. I agree that they will need industry. After that one, you see, we all agree. But Garrett, Moon, so I'm talking about what's the reality. Now, Declan Rice, if Bellingham and Foden are able to do their jobs well, Declan Rice and Menu will have, it easy. will have it easy to pick plug holes and mop up. Now, when England have the ball, the very little position that they will have, if somebody is in distress, the most comfortable player in the midfield under pressure mm -hmm. is Kobe. It doesn't matter how young he is. Like, he's shown yeah. that under pressure, he can take the ball, win some fouls, take some pressure off the team. So, England will have a lot of the ball. But when they have the little ball and they need to bounce it off somebody who can hold it for them for the two extra seconds to get maybe Walker or Saka or folding them in place, that could be Menu. So, Menu could be doing a Tony Cruz for them. If Billingham and Foden do the job on Ruiz and Rodri, Menu would be freed up not to engage Menu of the Too ball. Much. See, he's young, so I don't want to say, but let me pass the comment. Menu of the ball offers very little. It's not his fault. He doesn't have the physicality and the uh, tenacity to, to, to get
shut up in the face of players and win balls and but things. Is, is the defensive awareness. Yes, he's young. He will grow. He will grow into it. It will come. It's a, yeah. it will come. If Menu plays, that is why when, when we've seen Menu, he's been brilliant for England in games that England have seen a lot of the ball. So mm. against Netherlands in the first half, he was superb. Yeah. But in the second half, we didn't see him because England didn't play. Right? So if England have that ball for that few, that two minutes, two seconds, if they can bounce off Menu, then he has a job to do. Quick. If Foden and Bellingham don't do the job on Rodri and Ruiz, the men will be useless. The clean rice will struggle. And then Lamine Yamal and Nico Williams will have fun. Mm. You see, finally, Spain are favourites. As on paper, as, as we speak, they are champions. No, as we speak right now, I'm actually England. <laughs> like, the board and they play, uh -huh. champions. I still think that England's backline have got individual qualities to match up to some of the threats that Spain's forward line can pose. See, Walker, Walker as a, that extra centre back. If he has to come out and face Nico Williams, Nico Williams won't play anything. He won't survive. He's been great. Like I like him, but he can't. He won't beat Walker. If if Walker has to step one on one, nobody beats that guy. Like yeah, the idea grow. I can't say Mbappe no the fit. Vini no the fit. Nobody the fit. Nobody Nico ego fit. Right? Raimi owns up some way. Some way. Some <laughs> way. Oh, some see, way. So when it comes to Nico Williams, England and Sakes work rates. In tracking back with the way he did it against the land, yeah, they can they can solve the Nico Williams problem there, mm. right? Then it comes down to what gay, who has shown to be very good, and either Luxor or Trippier can also do against Lamin Yamal. So when it comes to those two, two, two small boys with sharp teeth or small boys with quick legs, England might have scenarios where or individuals who can control them, but the biggest problem for England would be how they are able to contain. Rodri and Fabian Ruiz. If Billingham and Foden get that job done, it's the start of how England are stopping Spain from flowing. And then when the game is progressing, Gary Salgo can do what people are asking him to do. <laughs> <laughs> Only what can can play some. Then then things. But those who are starting this is how they should play. Mm -hmm. If they do it that way and do it well, they've got a chance. I'm